Good morning. Please stand. The entrance antiphon. All the earth shall bow down before you, O God, and shall sing to you, shall sing to your name, O Most High. In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who choose what is weak in the world to confound the strong, mercifully grant that we who celebrate the heavenly birthday of your martyr, St. Agnes, may follow her constancy in the faith through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from 1 Corinthians. Consider your own calling, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. Rather, God chose the foolish of the world to shame the wise. And God chose the weak of the world to shame the strong. And God chose the lowly and despised of the world, those who count for nothing, to reduce to nothing those who are something, so that no human being might boast before God. It is due to him that you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, as well as righteousness, sanctification, and redemption, so that as it is written, whoever boasts should boast in the Lord. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. <clears throat> Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again, and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. Pray. Remarkable story to this young lady, virgin and martyr. She made a commitment at a very young age that her spouse would be Jesus, none other. Apparently, she was very attractive, so as she started to grow up and mature, she had a, a constant stream of suitors at her parents' door wanting to propose to her and take her in marriage, and she just kept refusing and refusing and refusing and refusing and refusing every single last one of them. And then the governor of the territory's son saw her and decided he just had to have her. And she refused. His ego was very bruised, so he goes and accuses her of being a Christian to daddy the governor. They have her arrested, put into prison, they try to break her commitment every way that they possibly can to include trying to put her into prostitution and nobody's, everybody's afraid to touch her. And then finally, they just get fed up and you know, they show her the tools that they can use to torture and torment her and she, you know, her commitment to chastity, purity is so unshakable, she just looks at it and says, my commitment, my spouse is Christ and only he shall have me. So, they behead her. Now, that happened in various ways, more times than we probably ever will know until we get into the kingdom ourselves, but there's that commitment to Christ that shines at the heart of this young lady named Agnes Lamb's story. She committed herself to him and would allow absolutely nothing to sway her, to change her mind, to break, weaken, soften in the slightest her commitment to him, which is why she's on the church's calendar. And if you ever heard, listen to, it's called Eucharistic Prayer 1 now. It's all been known for a long time as the Roman canon, the really long Eucharistic prayer. Her name is in there, in the list of martyrs because of her faithfulness to her commitment to Christ. We need that today, especially the accompanying commitment to chastity, to purity, because I don't know if you've noticed, purity is a lacking quality in our world today. There are so many things that just are trying to tempt, especially our young people, your sons and daughters, grandsons and granddaughters, to a life of impurity, they need you. They need you. Lift them up in prayer. Don't be afraid to teach them, to show them what's going on in our culture that is leading to a life of impurity, and then lift them up in prayer, and lift them up in prayer some more, and lift them up in prayer until the day you die. And I will especially be making intercession today's saint. St. Agnes, who, through the power of God's grace, held to her commitment of purity and faithfulness to her spouse, Jesus, all the way to her death with joyfulness. Ask her intercession for your own sons and daughters and for your grandchildren, your nieces and nephews, 
for the young people of our parish family that they too may choose despite all of the temptations against it in this world today, a life of purity, of chastity, of committing themselves to Christ in all ways. <clears throat> Let us lift up our prayers of faith that the leaders and members of the church may fulfill with joy their calling to proclaim, celebrate, and serve the gospel of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sake of our nation, especially the vulnerable, innocent, and defenseless, may all willful workers of wickedness be removed from positions of power, prominence, and prestige, civil, judicial, and spiritual. Open the eyes of those being deceived and place people who stand for your righteous cause in the places of authority. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may unite all our choices with the will of God and there find our true freedom and fulfillment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick who are tempted to depression may experience the care of the Christian community and the courage to find God in their suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For these and for all the intentions in our parish book of prayer and for the repose of the soul of Kirby Wolf, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we ask that you hear these prayers we entrust into your care this day as always. Through your Son, Jesus our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praising glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of blessed Agnes win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the hosts of angels cry out and without end. We acclaim, holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Bless you. <clears throat> Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Peter our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. communion antiphon you have prepared a table before me and how precious is the chalice that quenches my thirst
let us pray. O God, who bestowed on blessed Agnes a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph, virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who roam throughout the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended.